Hello, I'm Ryan Potts. I'm Vice President of Research at Amgen, and I'm excited about the upcoming meeting this coming January, Proximity-Based Therapeutics. And I'm Michelle Arkin, co-chair with Ryan Potts. I'm the chair and professor of pharmaceutical chemistry at UCSF, director of the Small Molecule Discovery Center. And I am very excited to be working with Ryan on the Proximity-Based Therapeutics meeting January 2024. Proximity-based therapeutics really addresses the whole spectrum of this idea that you bring together two molecules rather than inhibiting two molecules, you bring them together to induce new functions. Well, I think this meeting is, you know, quite um, quite unique. You know, the, the field of, of uh, proximity-based um, molecules and, and medicines is really coming of age over the last few years. and. This field has so much potential to, you know, really change the the scope of how we do drug discovery. Having this joint with targeted protein degradation, which you know largely also works through proximity-based mechanisms, um, is a really fabulous way to bring together a field, this emerging field um, that includes not only targeted protein degradation but expanding. Um, those types of um, uh, opportunities to engage new types of targets uh, and, and leverage new types of biology in the cell through proximity that goes beyond simply degradation of targets. Yeah, it was a great vision of the Keystone Symposia to put these two together to allow them to play off of each other in a, a really natural way. We're going to see targeting degradation by means other than the proteasome, other than the traditional E3 ligase. A proteasome biology. We're going to see non-degradative mechanisms for modulating post-translational modifications. We're going to see um, the differences, similarities and differences between how you might stabilize native interactions, so things that interact already, versus neomorphic interactions or things that don't normally interact. Uh, what can we learn from one to do better at developing the other? You know, I'm really excited about to learn more about uh, what the field is doing uh, to use proximity-based mechanisms to drive differential biology beyond um, degradation as an endpoint, uh, novel types of protein-protein um, um, -protein interactions, different effectors that are being leveraged to control targets and biology in, in different ways. And it's also this concept of, um, of, of molecular glues, right? Um, bringing together protein-protein interactions, whether they be neomorphic or they be um, uh, native interactions that are being strengthened. I mean, doing this in a predictable um, and a, a directed fashion is really an exciting area for the, where the science is moving. And we have a, a, a number of talks that we're excited about that'll, that'll uh, inform us on where the field is at and where the field is moving in the future. It's gonna be a, it's gonna really, really fun um, a few days of, of science and um, community building. Go ahead and register. No reason not to. It's going to be a blast.